you need to go through a process of discovery. You need to start with all the little pieces, and you need to spend an obscene amount of time and resources on just figuring out what's possible. That's not something big companies are real good at. You can't put a timeline or a budget on it. Hackers don't give a shit. They're just going to play with stuff anyway. So keep an eye on that. Great example we have here at Picnic. I got to spend, I was fortunate to spend some time with folks from Mediamatic. They created a bunch of projects that are around here at Picnic using RFIDs. And uh, I won't get into lots of ranting about RFIDs at the moment, but they use them to do really creative stuff. This is a, this is a project where you scan, you all have RFIDs with your badges. Go find these projects that are around. This one, um, you, hook, you scan your badge, and what it does is it looks up your profile, finds keywords, creates a, um, an icon for you that gets printed on a, on a um, label that you can put on your badge and see who else at, the, at Picnic um, is like you. It's kind of fascinating. This is a really gorgeous project they made just for Picnic. They made this all over the weekend, right? They had a camp over the weekend. They got a bunch of, about 15, I think, folks from around the world all interested in spending their weekend hacking projects for you to play with. This one's called IT. You put your little tag in this teacup, it looks up your profile on Picnic, gets some information, Googles about you, gets some information about you, and, and displays it on this table in a, in a really beautiful um, display. And that's over in the, I think it's called the mirror tent. So don't, don't miss it, that's really, really good stuff. They also made a photo booth, you just scan your tag, it automatically looks up your, your name, from the picnic site, looks up your friends' names who are there taking pictures with you in like a normal photo booth scenario. And then it automatically takes pictures of you, tags it with your name, uploads it to Flickr, uploads it to the picnic site. If you go to the front of the photo booth, you can scan your tag and it'll look up all the pictures that it's taken of you and your friends. It's really delightful. This is the uh, RFID rackets they made. These are really cool projects all done over the weekend. These are little scanners you can wave over people and you want to come up with the the code, and then this is, uh, so what they do is they take these and they can scan and find all these RFID tags you didn't even know you had on you. A lot of people don't realize the extent that this stuff has been deployed. And then this is a uh, code that they made, which has to do with, uh, it has a, it's called the RFID spy code. And as she's scanning people surreptitiously, copying the data off their tags, she can clone those, right? So with this excitement, with this code that makes her look like spy versus spy, she's able to have like <laughs> tags in my pocket that she's already cloned. So now she can impersonate me, right? If I have more time, I might show you some of this stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get off the stage. Oh, there's all kinds of things. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you. I think we need the 30 seconds or one minute for someone to come up and...